All right, we are going to start with a simple app. To create new app, I've signed in right now with my school ID. Please do that. To create new app, just click on this. Write reasonable name. I'm just going to write paint for now. Select the category. I'm going for education. One important part, please uncheck this if it is already checked. Okay, this is important because it changes the interface. Click on create. And this is what it should look like. Okay, you can search for all the components over here. You can change all the properties in this particular part of the section. And all the components that are present in your app will be visible in this section. So let's begin by creating. For this one, we are going to first add a row. Row is actually a layout component and it is normally used to arrange stuff properly. Now, if you see right now, the row is covering my entire screen. I don't want it to cover my entire screen, so I'm going to change its height in a minute. Before I do that, I'm going to add a button over here. So I'm searching a button. Just simply drag and drop. There you can see the button is here. Now I'm going to reduce the height of my row. Simply have to go over here in the properties. Make sure row is selected. Otherwise, you will be changing height of different components. If the row is selected, you will be able to see the name here. The height, I'm going to go for fill contents. And you can see how it has shrinked. I'm also going to change the vertical alignment of screen because I want the button to come on the top. So for that, I'm going to push this row to the top. And for that, you go to screen, change vertical alignment to top. And there you can see. I'm also going to change vertical alignment of row. No, not vertical, horizontal. And you simply go to horizontal alignment and click on left. And there you go. Next, I'm also going to use one more button. Um, right, like for now, I'm going to add one here itself. There. Next, I'm going to add a slider. Simply search that, drag and drop. Now, any new component that you add to Thunkable screen will come at the very top. You don't want that. So if you want to rearrange, just click here. You can rearrange from here. You can just click on the row and drag it on top of slider. And there you go. Next component we are going to use is canvas. So you search that and drag and drop. Again, the same problem that we observed earlier. Very simple. You go over here. And you drag the canvas below and there we have our interface ready now to actually draw on the canvas you don't need any coding all you have to do is you go over here select stage and change this property touch drawing property to true once you do that you can preview your design here And if once the canvas loads, it's taking a little bit of time. Let me try again. Well, once the canvas loads, you can pretty much draw on it. Hmm. Now we are going to code over here. First, we are going to do this button. We are going to change a few properties. Right, clear. I am also going to rename it. Right now, the name is button two. I'm going to name it as button underscore clear. So it makes easy. Over here, this button, I'm going to rename it again. 
I'm going to change its name to yellow. Maybe underscore BTN to show, tell me that it's a button. I'm going to remove the text completely. I'm going to choose the background color to be yellow. I don't like the spacing over here. For that, I'm just going to add a little bit of margin to a button. I'm going to add a right hand side margin and that's going to be 20. For now, let's keep it as 20 and we'll see. Now we can go to blocks to code clear button. All you have to do is drag when button dot clear dot click. Go to looks and there is a block called clear drawings. You join the blocks like this and that's it. That's all the code you require to do. Next, uh, to code another button, the yellow one, we are actually going to change the nib color for our paint. And for that, all you have to do is again, drag this, go to stage and stage has something called drawing color. Yeah, there you go. Change it to yellow. And that's it. Let's go to design and see if we can actually try it this time. I'm going to try and live test this. Right. Finally, I can show you how to draw. I can click on yellow, and now my drawing will come in yellow. You can even click on clear and things get cleared. So it's that easy. You might not like the look of the yellow over here. So we can change that a bit. All you have to do is click on the button and change its height. I'm going to go with percentage and I'm going to go with 80%. Now when you do something in percentage, it's relevant to the component, the parent component. Here the parent component is row. So height is going to be 80% of the height of the row. Let's live test and see what it looks like now. Yeah, I don't mind this. This is good, right? All right, next I'm going to code the slider. Just go to block, select slider. I'm going to use this block when slider one on sliding complete. Next, I'm going to go to stage and we are going to select drawing width. Drawing width is nothing but the size or thickness of the nib that we are using. You simply take value, you duplicate that, you put it over here and that's it. That's all the code you require. You can set default values first. So right now minimum value is 0, maximum is 10, default is 5 and step is 1. I'm going to leave the step as it is. Value default I can keep as 10. Maximum I'm going to go for 30. I'm going to click on live test again. Let's hope it loads properly. Since canvas is facing loading issues, that might happen. The best way to test the app is actually use a phone if you have any nearby. Now, what you can do is to cut, make more buttons like this yellow button. You can simply duplicate it. So you see over here, there's something called yellow button. Just go over here and see duplicate. Just click on it. And you can just do that multiple times. We are going to do, let's do five colors for now. And there it is. So we have five buttons. We can um, put the margins in between all of them. For now, uh, we're going to put margin right to 10. And yeah, that, that looks a little proper. Again, I'm going to put this as 10. This one I'm going to reduce from 20 to 10. Again, this one will also be 10. And there you go. 
Now we're going to just change the color and the names. So this was our yellow button one. I'm going to change it to blue. And I'm going to change the color over here to blue. Again, same here. I'm going to go for green. Change the color here to green. Rename it to. We should put a black also since we are removing the black by default. Right. And black. And the last one I'm going to go for red. Just seems like. So there you go. And let's change the color to red. Now all you have to do is once you're done with this, go to blocks, duplicate this. You can change the name here and the color from here. Again, duplicate it, change the name here, color from here. Duplicate it. Change the name here and again color from here. It doesn't matter where, where you place these blocks, it's not going to change any order. Right. That's it. Our coding is done and complete. So fun live test once. Let's hope this time it loads. No, my canvas is not getting loaded. However, there's a lot of more space in terms of adding colors, which you can do at later stage. Let me see if I can preview it.